Food vlogger na cancel dahil wala daw longganisa ang 85 pesos na eat all you can na kanyang nireview? Sayang lang, walang longganisa. Habol ko dito yung longganisa sana eh. Ano to? Hulaan ng araw, tsambahan, matobatopic yarn. Pwede na, para sa 85 pesos. Kung malapit ka lang, why not? Pero kung malayo ka, kahit magluto ka nalang sa bahay. So overall, for experience na lang din, hindi na siya para balikan ko. Yo, what's up? This is Real Talk Darbs, ang pambansang good sa Marites ng Pilipinas wherein I'm trying to influence you how to think critically about sa mga trending issues ngayon dito sa Pilipinas. And today, we'll be talking about a food vlogger na nagbigay ng bad review sa isang eat-all-you-can restaurant dahil wala ang pagkain gusto niyang makain. Anong gagawin mo kung ikaw ang business owner at sasabihin na hindi worth it ang price ng pagkain mo? Justifiable nga ba ang pagiging honest ng isang food vlogger na to? Or was she very ruthless in saying these things? And of course, what are the three things we may be able to learn from this kind of situation? Let's find out. First, let me give you a brief context. Sa mga di nakakakilala, siya si Lane Bernardo, isang food vlogger na kasalukuyang may 764,000 followers on TikTok at 919,000 followers naman sa Facebook. Nakilala si Lane dahil sa kanyang mga food vlogs na kung saan dinarayo niya ang iba't ibang sikat, patok, at nagtitrending ng mga kainan. Parte rin siya ng Team Patakam na binubuo ng mga food vloggers na sila Ron Gataway, Manuel Ulanzo, Naomi Peña, at Jason Recinto. Now, let's go back to the issue. Recently, pumunta si Lane sa isang kainan upang masubukan ito at ma-review. Ito ay ang 85 pesos eat all you can healthy breakfast na matatagpuan sa Shaw Boulevard, Mandaluyong City. Dito, nag-o-offer sila ng iba't ibang mga putahe na perfect sa almusal tulad ng tilapia, tuyo, okra, ensilada, at sabaw. Naghahain din sila ng anli longganisa at giniling pero hindi araw-araw. Kaya naman, shampoohan lang ito. Pero sa 85 pesos, for sure, sulit na sulit na yun. Now, let me give you some highlights of her video para hindi mo na ito panooring chismosa ka. The video started when Lane showed the actual place at kung gaano kahaba ang pila ng mga tao na dumayo pa mula sa mga malalayang lugar. Sabi niya, Hi guys! Tara samahan niya kami tikman itong 85 pesos lang eat all you can healthy breakfast na alamin natin kung sulit ba or madidismaya ka lang. At the next part of the video ay agrant na agad si Lane sa mga nakita niyang pagkain na nakahanda. Medyo bitin lang yung food dahil kasi hindi ito yung mga nakita ko sa mga vlogs. So technically parang yung hinain nila sa amin, apat na klase lang. Dito, inani na niya na hindi siya naging masaya sa kanyang experience. Sabi ni Lane, Honestly, hindi lang ako naging masaya sa experience ko dahil expected ko kahit walang longganisa at egg for today. Dahil sabi nga nila every other day sila nagpapalit, sana man lang kahit similar ng kodi dun sa longganisa at egg para fair din naman sa mga galing pa sa malalayong lugar. Sayang lang, walang longganisa. Habol ko dito yung longganisa sana eh. Now, humirit pa si Lane ng pag-joke na Ano to? Hulaan ng araw, tsambahan, bato ba topic yarn, charot. <laughs> so dapat pagpupunta ka dito, malakas ka magdasal dahil hindi fair or same yung sinaserve nila sa bawat araw. Moreover, nakaharap na siya sa kanyang camera ay naglabas na naman si Lane ng pagkadismaya. Sabi niya, Pwede na, para sa 85 pesos. Dapat malapit lang yung bahay mo. Kasi kung malayo, wag na. Luto ka na lang sa bahay, di ba? <laughs> Sa pangalawang pagkakataon ay sinabi niya ito ulit. Pwede na kung malapit ka lang. Pero kung malayo, kahit huwag na. At sa pangatlong pagkakataon ay sinabi na naman niya ito ulit. Pwede na, para sa 85 pesos. Dapat malapit lang yung bahay mo. Kasi kung malayo, wag na. Luto ka na lang sa bahay, di ba? Sa dulong parte ng video ay nagsabi na si Lane ng kanyang final say sa kanyang nakainan. So overall, for experience na lang din, hindi na siya para balikan ko. Dahil sa video niyang ito, nakatanggap ito ng negative comments mula sa netizens. Now, guys, disclaimer lang. Lane is currently pregnant. Mapapansin naman sa video ang kanyang baby bump. This might be the reason kung bakit ganun na lang kastrong yung cravings at paghahanap niya ng longganisa. So ngayon, hindi na available sa account ni Lane yung video niyang ito. So what are the three things we can learn from this kind of situation? Number one, be respectful in your criticism. 
Malaking bagay naman talaga ang pagbibigay ng honest feedback sa lahat ng services or products. It can help the consumers to decide if they'll take a risk or not. However, it is also important to remember, lalo na when reviewing food, that the people who make it puts a lot of time, effort, and love into what they do. So, when you criticize someone, being too harsh or rude can hurt their feelings. It is possible to give an honest comments without hurting or ignoring the other person. We allow constructive criticisms. Remember that our words can make or break a person or even a business. Number two, integrity and authenticity are important. Huwag din naman natin masyadong i-crucify sila eh. I don't think intention niyang siraan yung restaurant. She's not a food critic, but a vlogger. She's giving her own subjective opinion based on her criteria. Ang maganda lang, meron din kayong sariling opinion. Hindi nyo gusto ang review niya? Then, so be it. Because you're learning to think critically too. All in all, it is important for influencers to stay true to their values and beliefs and to remain transparent with their followers. For sure, maraming influencers pa rin ang magkakagusto dyan. Kung may aalis, umalis. Kung may magstay, then stay. Remember, being authentic and honest can help build trust and loyalty with their audience while also reducing the risk of being cancelled in the future. Number three, words and actions have consequences. Alam nyo, being a content creator has its own pros and cons. Katulad nito, hindi sa lahat ng oras magugustuhan ng tao ang content na pinuduce mo. That's why content creators must be aware of their words and actions because it can have far-reaching consequences. Hindi may iiwasan ang pagkakamali. Kaya naman, when they make mistakes, it is important to acknowledge them take responsibility, and work towards making amends. Also, hindi lang naman sa content creator, pati maging sa inyo, that is it. Your words and actions with regards to any issue, how you respond or react has also its consequences. Remember that you may be responsible for what you said, not for what others understood. Real talk. Kailangan nating maintindihan na sa bawat ginagawa or sinasabi natin, maraming maapektuhan. That's how life works. We influence, we inspire, but at the same time, we can also hurt. We can destroy. Sinasadya man yun o hindi. Hindi malabo ko pwede itong mangyari. My point here is, let's not forget that there's always a room to grow. It's important to think about how complicated each situation is. This means taking the time to think about different points of view, talking with respect, and working towards answers that are fair and equal for everyone. We don't have to agree on anything to be kind to one another. If we have to choose about being kind or right, we should choose being kind. Praise in public, correct in private. However, kung nangkamali, huwag naman natin pagsaratuhan ng pinto para nagbago. Every saint has a past, and every sinner has a future. After all, everybody deserves second chances, but maybe not for the same mistakes. Tegal, tegal di Nawalan ng ganang